think you sell the fantasy very well because a lot of girls today, and this is not to speak down on anyone, they're artists in their own right. Mm-hmm. But you sell fantasy. You sell the intimacy. You sell mm-hmm. it's not sex. It's sex. Sensuality. Yeah. Sensuality. Intimacy. And being comfortable yeah. with it's it. It's intimate. It's being comfortable. And you're right. Some people flaunt that in other ways. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure if my butt was way bigger, I may be <laughs> twerking during singing the songs. Like, like oh, I just, I'm saying I, yes. God said no. If you, you, can't have it, you can't do it all. You can't like, it both ways. No, yeah. no. Because you so, play instruments I know, too. I don't know. I'm saying that because you I, you know, I just don't. Oh, I didn't say I could move into it. Hey, I didn't say I could move into it. But I'm, I am saying there is a level there's levels to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's either showing the entire package and now I don't have to think about what it's going to be because I already saw it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or I do something to your mind that makes I you know. think, ooh, I don't even care what actually happened. <laughs> right. What mm-hmm. I thought was going to happen is mm-hmm. exactly. even better. Exactly. Yeah. And I there's two yeah. artists that I put in that category. That's you and Jill Scott. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, who is a dream go. collab? Because for me, it just came to me just now. That's a dream collab for me. Me and Jill. Yes. Oh, we would talk mm-hmm. to y'all. Would go cra- that would go crazy. Uh-huh. Y'all would have to go I don't like want a back type and of forth. hypnotherapy. Exactly. That would be, yeah. Come people on have now. To, yeah. Oh, put it out there. Oh, yes. maybe we'll tour. Yes. <laughs> Come exactly. on, Jill. Jilly from Philly. So you yeah. said before when you um, are making a song, each instrument, you're making love to each instrument, mm-hmm. and it's like a collab, and it's almost like having sex with each instrument, right? Mm-hmm. Or it's, oh, <laughs> yeah, I wanted you to say it because I didn't want <laughs> So with the moaning and stuff that you do, is it ever, do you feel like it's ever too much? Like you get into a zone and then you open your eyes and it's like, ooh, it was 30 people in here. But that's what happens during uh, many songs, you Mm. know, because I'm in my feelings. Sometimes when I'm on stage, I have to literally apologize and be like, my bad, that was all for me. I don't know who was here watching it or who (laughs) feeling for you, but... I felt that one. I don't know where he was at, yeah. but you're taking that ride with me. So yeah, in the studio, it's very much you have to kind of pick and choose your moments. So mm-hmm. you never want to overstep. Some people might be uncomfortable, but that mm-hmm. makes it a part of the foreplay. Exactly. Yeah. It's a tease. So mm-hmm. it's like, okay, I'm gonna back up, and even that's sexy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's a line. Of, that's a line on the bar. Like, hey, yeah. let me do this. Let me do that. Oh, you can't even handle that. Let me just step away. <laughs> let you think about it. And they're like. <laughs> Well, let me think about it then. And then you, you know, it's all the teas. So. Exactly. Ooh, I'm writing uh, songs now. Singing. One, of the, exactly. <laughs> one of the last times that we got Outcast back together was with you mm. and DJ Drama, the oh, art of yeah. storytelling. How did mm. that record come about? Atlanta. Okay, then. Yeah. DJ Drama hit yeah. me. I just got back to Philly to do something. I think I was going on tour and I was coming back here and Drama was like, yo, I had this record. I just need this hook. I was like, mm. okay, bet. I have the little setup in my my crib, yeah. literally in my little guest bedroom. It was like, geek, 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 okay, cool. <laughs> sent it, and before I knew it, I heard Big Boy, <laughs> and Andre Three Thousand. Come on, and I was like, oh, that's it. Mm. Bucket list check. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. Like all the things. Like you said, what's your dream collab? Yeah. Mm. I could not even dream up what I've already done. Mm-hmm. Like it don't make no sense. Like yeah. none. So yeah, that was a that was an ATL moment. When you sure. look over your career though, Marsha, you thinking about Dr. Dre? We are talking about Michael Jackson? We are talking about Outkast and everybody else? What was your favorite studio session where you felt like I had the glow and everything that was coming out of you was gonna be a classic? It's a combination. That that early Philadelphia when I got there for sure, it was a back to back smash mm. fest like that. 